And welcome, folks, to Let's Play. I have no mouth, and I must scream. The game made by Cyber Dreams. Yes, unfortunately, the same people who made the Dark Seed games. No, I don't. I have no plans on doing them. If I did, I'd just link the Retro Prey videos because no one's gonna top that. Now then, based on the infamous short story by Harlan Ellison about... You all saw the intro about the sadistic AI AM, Allied Master Computer, actually created as a part of a global initiative with uh, two other su massive supercomputers with two other massive supercomputers as a part of its network. One Russian, one Chinese. Am pretty much goes crazy, becomes self-aware. Kills off everyone except these five. And the story tells the tale of these... pretty much tells the tale of his eternal torture of these five. Now then, the game takes a bit of a different turn. You saw from the intro, we're essentially playing Am's game here. We pick one of each of the five characters. In this case, I'm going to start... We have Gorster, Ellen, Benny, Nimdok, and Ted! I'm sorry, I love, I love Am's voice acting in the intro. That's just great. Ted! <laughs> So, okay, okay. Anyway, let's begin with Mr. Benny. Poof. Benny, you know you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Indeed. Benny, well, pretty much Am kept these five alive for a certain, for a certain reason. Let's find out. We're gonna find out what Benny's is. First off, whoa, crud. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Sorry, Benny. Okay. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. Actually, I don't want to be here yet. There's the path. Oh, we want to go to the caves down here. <laughs> I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Hmm. We have the twine here. Let's look at said twine. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Can we use twine? Some of the twine around the baskets oh, I know. came loose. Hmm. like some kind of altar. Very... Very creepy altar. Hmm. Benny. We have a few caves here. This looks like a... What did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. 
Hey, now. That's not nice. Impressive. Someone important must live here. There we go. What is this? A bag. Maybe there's food in it. Well, rather than taking it right away, let's talk to this fella. I can't understand uh -huh. his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. There's a video screen built well, this into is the bizarre. Wall. Can we use video screen? Hey, ignore the newcomer. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. That is Am. Let's talk to Mr. Elder again. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Hmm. Hmm. This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer generated crap. This looks like Okay. Just getting my bearings here. Now can we talk to these that fellas? Son of a bitch I am ripped out my vocal cords years ago. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. Yeesh, what kind of world that is this? Son of a bitch am. Okay, so we can't talk to anyone. This woman looks half starved, just like her son. Fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. Now that's no attitude to take, Benny. <clears throat> Can we use this twine here? I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. Try again. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Benny, I said try again. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. Well, there's three paths here. No, that takes us here. What about this path? A fruit tree. Ah. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. That happened in Ellison's story. That was one of the major plot points of Ellison's story, actually. Let's take the fruit. This fruit looks ripe and sweet. Let's eat the fruit. Hearts! 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 Alright, we can eat the fruit. Let's take another one, just to be sure. How about... Let's try being nice. This is the cave where the boy and his mother live. Thank you. Go in. I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. Let's give fruit to... the child. Thank you for food. You're welcome. You see that green glow that just... came around Benny's portrait there? That means we did good by ourselves. Alright. Let's talk to this young I man. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in Food Cave. It comes from the trees. That's not good, fruit. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You'll bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first, and then fed me. Oh. You look
look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I are not allowed in Food Cave. The villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. They're afraid of you? How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using Am Screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. Oh. I wish I were strong. So then they would give me food, too. How are we talking to him? Defective? That's tough. Sometimes. But I am spared lottery. Lottery? Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Anne. Huh. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. How long have these, sacrifice have these sacrifices been going, on? been going on? The sacrifice to Am Machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. The Not very many villagers left. The very different. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. Because Am's a bastard, that's why. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. It's Am we're talking about here, so... Are the victims buried in the graveyard? A sadistic supercomputer. I know nothing about graveyard. Oh? I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Interesting. As we moonwalk out of the cave. Let's take us another fruit here. Because we are still hungry after all. And this time, let's try giving the fruit to Mother. Whoa. Amazing. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. It's a very generous mother if she'd feed a stranger. Like that. So. What exactly has Am done to this place? You can see the state of the world as Am has left it. It's not so good. I stumbled upon there accidentally the first time, but... Let's look at these graves. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. Here we go. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Could we talk to these graves? I guess I haven't given you any reason to speak to me after what I did to you. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life. Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? How about Thomas? Are you going to talk the to other us? Graves as deathly silent as this one? Hmm. I guess I haven't given you any reason to speak to me after what I did to you. Hmm. I'm thinking about how exactly we need to proceed here. We've learned about the lotteries that have been going on here. And we know that the graves of Benny's old squad mates are here. The idea behind Am's challenges here is to essentially prove to him that humans have the power to redeem themselves. And that's the idea behind this green aura. As we do good things, we start building up good karma. So it's up to us to prove Am wrong. That humans can be saved. 
I want to adjust the voice level here because the voices seem a bit loud. I'll check the recording afterwards, but... Well... A lot of voice acting in the game, and not so much by me, but... I hope you enjoyed anyway. When we return, we'll continue Benny's story.